Hey guys, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. Today, we're doing a top 10. It's the top 10 things to know about your cabin. Yep, there are so many things that you might not know about your cruise cabin. Let's start with the first thing, yep. and that is that drinks and treats in your <laughs> mini fridge are not free. I know. I mean, it's kind of just like a hotel. Let's say it again. They're not, not free. free. So when you open mm -hmm. that up and you're seeing all those little energy <clears throat> drinks and sodas and packages of nuts, and this and that. You better check your menu. And you're like, ooh, I'm gonna go back to my cabin. I'm gonna watch a movie. I got some treats. Now I have to say that 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 <laughs> there's a caveat to that. Always. It just depends on what level of cabin you're in because right. on some of the cruise lines, when you are in their highest level mm -hmm. cabin, you do get those for free. <laughs> but in most cases, they're not for free. Yeah, it's so. Uh, and the, they're they're inventoried in, and they're inventoried, you know checked and uh, whatever the cabin steward finds missing uh, will be charged. So let's go to the next one. <laughs> What's the next one? Well, you know, not all cabin bathrooms have ventilation fans. That's disgusting. Well, it's true. <laughs> um, well, and some might have fans that don't work. <laughs> that's true too. So and that's why we always suggest as part of our traveling uh, cruise essentials that you bring some kind of aerosol bathroom spray mm -hmm. or the little potpourri drops you put in poop, the poop. poop. Oh, potpourri. Well, for me, it's a potpourri <laughs> is a converting to poopery. Oh, I hate saying that. Poo. <laughs> That's all right. So, so let's get let's get past the poo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the next on our list is beds can usually be configured from two twins to one king size bed, but not always. Yeah. <laughs> Some instances, the staterooms, I mean, mm -hmm. I know I do most of the booking for our cruises and I have to be cognizant of the fact uh, of whether that is a king size bed that cannot be converted right. at all or whether they're two twins that cannot be right. put together um, because it will be listed on the deck plan. Right, absolutely. And so, or, or they can ask, right? They can oh, ask absolutely. their travel professional. Yes. Uh, and also uh, whether the room can accommodate a third person. Or a fourth person. Right, whether it's right. a drop-down bunk, whether it's kind of a mini sofa that pulls out, or whatever, uh, uh, the configuration that you need. Now, when, know how transformable your yes, cabin is. I know. Now, when Kevin books our cruise, and he sees that it comes, you know, two twins. He always check marks in his booking that we require it as a king size bed. And uh, I have to say that we're probably at the 50 50 mark that when we arrive into our cabin on that first uh, embarkation day, 50% mm -hmm. uh, of the time the beds are still separate as two twins. And we have to let the cabin right. steward know. Uh, Hopefully we see him that moment, or we call down to guest services and say, make sure our beds get put together. And it's not a big deal. No. Remember that there's thousands of people getting off yeah. the ship and thousands getting on, and it takes time for them to prepare. And generally when you're checked in to your restaurant for dinner and they're coming to do turn down service, that might be the point where they do uh, the putting together of, of the beds. And so when you're coming back to your cabin at night, it's all ready for you. Now, we get a big question a lot of the times, and we're going to answer it right now. Uh, and the question is, next on our list, mm -hmm. which is the cabin, bathroom, sink, tap water. That's a big mouthful. It is. Uh, it is safe to drink. It is. It's processed through the ship's filtration system. I mean, just because the boat is out in seawater doesn't mean you're drinking seawater. I mean, well, and, but I know people are always leery but, about tap water. Well, it, I, I was going to say, everybody's yeah. always leery about tap water, and some people don't like the taste. Right. So if you don't like the taste, don't drink it, but don't spread fall, 
false news. Right. Well, some people it's safe to drink. Some people don't even like the tap water they have in their own homes. Well, yeah. Depending on where you live. Depending on where you live, we our, have wonderful water. We do where we have. Live. We're very lucky to have wonderful tap water. So uh, next on our list, <laughs> um, the walls of your cabin are magnetic. Isn't that cool? Your so, cabin is a metal box that they've dropped in. That's and, how they built the ship. And 99.9% .9 of the time, your doors are also metal. Uh, they do this on ships for a variety of reasons, but the number one reason they do this, the number one reason is to stop the spread of fire if a fire ever breaks out. Um, Again, the biggest fear on a cruise ship. Right. But nowadays... Uh, it's really ease of putting the ship together because right. they all are already put Little together. Boxes. And they just, That's <laughs> how they <laughs> built them. Yeah, and then they just hook up uh, the plumbing and the electrical. Boop, 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 and your cabin's ready. Now, the next one, number six, is about you not thinking that you're at home in your bedroom. That there's limited <laughs> hanging closet space and, very often, limited hangers. I know. You, you're not at home in your walk-in closet. Now, uh, I've made a comment in another video that you're not there to impress anybody. You're on a cruise, and I got some backlash on it, but yeah. I'm going to say it again. You are not there to impress anybody, and you're on a cruise. But, you know, for those of you who are bringing your steamer trunks with all your, your, with your entire wardrobe from home, you have to realize that in most cases, and not all, but in most cases, you've just got that double door Mm -hmm. hanging space with limited hangers but and i have to say the hanger situation has gotten better since we got back into cruising in 2013 mm -hmm. and you open the door and there was like five hangers and we're looking going five hangers for the both of us now it's like i open the door and there's like a dozen plus and there's also a lot of drawer space so if you can't get all your stuff hanging you may have to keep some of the stuff in the drawers or maybe some of the stuff left in your luggage what's next well the next one number seven is is kind of a biggie your cruise cabin is not soundproof it's not you can hear a lot and some of the stuff you hear you don't want to hear girl you're in danger yeah you don't want to hear some of the goings on that's going on next door whether it's someone fighting or is someone not fighting and having a good time? I don't know. Oh, maybe, canoodling. Canoodling. I don't know. Maybe you want to hear that. But please, people, be aware. It might be a metal box, but it's not soundproof. And coming in at number eight is cabin location on the ship does matter. It does. It truly does. Whether you're aft, midship, or forward, whether you're on the top deck, middle deck, or in the bowels of the ship, rowing, we think it matters. I know, because we actually have experienced all of them. Yep, we've been in the forward where it's been going, where you kind of get this motion a little bit more. <laughs> we've been in the midship where it's pretty stable. Which we like to be. Uh, you get a gentle rocking yeah, sometimes. Like that. And we've been in the aft where it's been bouncy. Yeah, sometimes it's bouncing, sometimes yeah, it isn't. A little, a little shaky sometimes. But again, that depends on weather and where you are. Who knows? And the next one, number nine, is a reminder uh, for people that your cabin stewards and the delivery crew people have keys to the cabins. Mm. So, you know, I want to remind everybody that it, whether you're... Um, like me taking a nap or in the bathroom, you might not hear the gentle knocking on your door. That cabin steward or that crew delivery person who maybe is bringing you some nice chocolate covered strawberries <laughs> is going to unlock your door and walk in. And, and if I you get walked in on, I blame you, the cruiser, because what? They have. Uh they have signs that you can put yeah, out, right? They have what we call number 10 on our list, uh, an actual system of communications mm -hmm. to your cabin steward and the rest of the staff of the ship. And uh, 
It's a common one that a lot of the ships use, and it uh, can be what like a, uh, a dial system. Yeah, there's many. There's many different yeah. ones, right? Yeah. There's uh, well, we've been on some cruise ships where it's still the place card. Right. That right. you put that you hang outside your door. Yeah, I don't like that one. Uh, we've been on some ships where it's a dial, like yeah. you were saying. In the dial system that we are really familiar with, there, it has four settings. There's a there's a welcome setting. Mm -hmm. There's a that means that you can come in. Right. There's a one that says make up cabin. That means I need a, my bed made and I need new towels. Clean my room, please. <clears throat> the third one, turn down cabin, which means we're on our way to dinner and it's okay for the cabin steward to come on in and leave the mints on the pillow, the towel animals, mm -hmm. and turn the bed down. And then there's do not disturb. Yes, I'm napping. Which means Frank's taking a nap. Yes. <laughs> or we're taking a shower, we're right. getting ready for the day. And um, our, uh, our NCL Bliss uh, ship had the push button has, inside. That was gonna be the next yeah. one I was gonna say. It is that some of the ships have push buttons and there's little colored dots, and yeah. that's what delineates yeah. what's going on. So you can control it, the communication from inside your cabin, by pushing the little button, as opposed to leaving your cabin and on the outside uh, doing the dial thing and then leaving. So Now, I yeah. wanted to um, let everybody know about the Do Not Disturb, because it's important, because, yes, Frank and I have been on a gazillion cruises, and uh, we still make this mistake. If you've ordered, <laughs> if you've ordered room service, and you have the "Do Not Disturb" sign on, they will not knock right. on the door. You will not get your room service. Right. You will get a phone call. Right, right. So just to remind you, and let's let's let me break it down for you. It's at night. It's like ten o'clock. 11 o'clock, we're getting ready to go to bed. We're filling out the card for next day, 6 a.m. We want our carafe of coffee, some Danish. We're checking the little card. Kevin opens the door. He puts the card on the door handle. And this is how it's handled sometimes. And then I go, click, do yeah. not disturb. Right. And then he shuts the door and we go to bed. Well, 6 a.m. Uh -huh. comes. And there's the guy standing in the hallway with our carafe of coffee in looking, Danish. Looking up going, Do oh, not disturb. Crap. And he's like, crap. We're still asleep. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're inside going, oh my Where God. Where is our coffee? We're dying. I got him a coffee. I'm dying. All of a sudden, the phone rings. <laughs> and I'm thinking, who the hell is calling us? <laughs> Room service. Are you available to take, you know, this, the uh, delivery crew member is outside wanting to know. Sometimes they even say, we're sorry, did we wait? Did you? we wait? And we're like, no, we're, we're just up, we're up waiting for room service. Well, he's up there, but doesn't know whether he can knock on your door. So, yeah, so Kevin and I have to remember that in the morning, up, open the door, flip it to welcome or whatever it is, and let them know we're available to receive our stuff so yeah it's it's simple but sometimes it's a step you forget and it's kind of silly we want to remind everybody that we're on facebook instagram twitter snapchat as well as here on youtube and since you're here on youtube you might as well click that subscribe button and become a regular family member and if you hit that little bell next to it you will get Regular notifications from Cruising with Wheels. That's right. Videos posting every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday morning. But until next time, remember... Always travel safe. And cruise often.